In this first editing tutorial, we'll look at the editing mode. First thing we need to do is press the play or edit button. Here in the editing mode, we have here at the top the title of our session, which we haven't set at this point. Here we have a counter displaying our current playhead time. The white line here is our playhead. Underneath here we have a meter, which shows the volume. A commands from Utrecht. And over here to the left we have our markers list. So if we have set markers during the interview, we can simply press a marker and the playhead will move to that point. Mark 2 the playhead jumps to the Mark II position. Further down here, we have our timeline. Tap anywhere in the timeline to move your playhead. And if we drag our finger on the timeline, we're able to scrub. And down here, we have our transport bar. Here we can play the audio. Ackermans from Utrecht. And with the previous and next buttons, we jump to any previous or next event in the audio. So the first event would be the marker. The next event would be the second marker. And the third event would be the beginning of the region. Same goes for the other way. Let's now have a look at the region. Currently the region is blue indicating that it's not active. If we tap on the region, it turns orange. We can also see now that there are some handles in each corner of the region and at the top. If we begin with the top handle, if we long press that, we can adjust the volume. The corner handles are for fades. If we take the top handle here, we can make a fade like this. If we take the lower handle over here, if there is more audio in our region, we can simply drag it out here, like so. At the end lines, we're able to trim. If I long press on the end line, we can trim in the audio. The same with the beginning. 